All right, welcome back to the next episode. Here we are back in Bubble Goop Swamp. We finished it up, collecting everything. Uh, we're gonna head back to Mumbo's hut, turn back into the alligator. Uh, no, not yet. Actually, I made a mistake again. Way ahead of myself. We're gonna jump over here. We're gonna leave here first. That's that's gonna be the. Whoa. If it even lets us leave. Jump over here. I always consider this to be the last forgiving level that they give you. The next ones are where they start getting a little tougher. Freeze Easy Peak is not the easiest level. Gobi's Valley is nowhere either. And then it's only uphill from there. The first thing we're going to do is going to go on the pad here. I think, and I think I'm right, we have to go all the way back over here. Careful for these guys. here. We're gonna grab the boots. Kazoo looks so funny with all So like I said, we're gonna run right over here. You gotta be Kazooie first, Banjo Kazooie first. It's one of those things that's a little tedious, you know, because if you came here as the alligator, you wouldn't be able to unlock this thing. Thinking, oh, what are, you, what are you talking about? It's, it's the picture frame for the next level, pre easy Peak. Sort of, yes. pre easy Peak. Unlocked. Awesome level. Like I said, I always, I always compliment the music of this game, but it's just unbelievable. So what we're going to do here is... Now you see this right here, we gotta run up here. And this is why you gotta be Banjo Kazooie first. So you flip up, and you smash this ice. And you come in here, and you realize you can only get that far in. And you're like, alligator. Because technically, we're still in Bubble Goop Swamp's area. Which is crazy to think about, because now it's all snowy. But yeah, you gotta grab the boots, make your way back through the, the world. Oh boy! And this one's a lot shorter than the other one, but it's only because you have to reach this platform right over here. There we go! So what we gotta do is go in here, and there's a big reason why we're doing this. It seems tedious to go back in here and go all the way to Mumbo's hut and turn into the alligator, only to come out again and do that again, but it's definitely uh, worth, and you'll see why here in a second. So go here, jump across again, I believe he's one more up. So, gonna trek the maze one more time. Oh. Alright, let's go. Get through this thing fast as possible. Grab a second pair of boots. Back into the alligator. <laughs> All right. You never take fall damage to anything in that mirror is mumbo either. It's pretty weird. Let's get out of here. 
Make your way out of here. And like I said, what we're doing here, it's definitely worth your time. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of going back and forth. In fact, having to redo anything is my least favorite thing in the world. But, they make you work for stuff in this game. And this one is definitely worth your time. So, you go back where you can. Somehow he can make it out. Doesn't make sense. And now we're small enough to crawl through. And that's going to bring us to Cheeto. Cheeto the Spellbug. So I'm pretty sure we get the blue eggs here. Only one spell Cheeto can tell. Enter the code blue eggs on the sandcastle floor in treasure trove code. Help you it will. Hidden the layer of the other spell books. Find them, blah blah blah. So, we just got the password to get blue eggs. I don't know if you have to put Cheeto first or not. We'll see. So now, once we put this in, we'll be able to carry 200 blue eggs instead of just 100. And every spellbook code doubles everything it does. Um, and eventually, at the end, you get double health as well. Um, you'll get red honeycomb pieces instead of yellow. So they have to actually take you down one life and then another. You'll see how it works. Just like in uh, Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, when you collect all the fairies and all the hearts, and you get the white capsules around the heart, and it has to get rid of the white capsule before it can even start damaging the heart. Exactly like that. See, that's one thing I don't, oh my goodness. The hitboxes in this game are a little ridiculous, and the fact that you can get hit when you're forcibly stuck by the game is a little, a little ridiculous, but nothing too bad. So! We can go the opposite way, but like I said, we're gonna go head down to Treasure Trove Cove again. This episode's gonna be short. It's just gonna be us going to get that Cheeto. And maybe a couple little bit of other weird things. Some health. Right back in the treasure trove cove. We're going to have to drain the water again. But that is not tough. Right back over here. Leaky the Mr. Bucket. Oh, I, I always do it. There we go. See if we can just do it the regular way without putting anything in. Yep, don't need to. So when you actually get the blue eggs, uh, 
You can use the same letter twice, so you see how I use two, same G. There's the S. There we go. 200 eggs are now yours. And it's 200 is the maximum, so that's maxed out for the game. Worth. And now we're going out of here. Alright. That was quick and easy. Surprisingly painless. No, no, no. Max our health out real quick. Very good. Climb back up the vines. And we're gonna make our way up to the other side of that grunty statue. See if we can't grab that jiggy inside of the statue as well. We gotta knock a couple things open to get that going though, so. Sit around this guy, make our way up here. Two hundred and sixty notes. No problem. Okay. As you can tell by this giant urn. So here's Gobi's Valley actual world. Another one of my favorites. I really like Kobe's Valley. Um, there's something behind here. We're gonna go ahead and check this out real quick. That's how you get into Kobe's Valley. You gotta use the boots and run over there. I think there's something on the other side here too. There is. I believe it's a cauldron. Nope. It's the switch to get the jiggy. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna slam on this. <coughs> Make our way over here. Over here. And to fall through that hole in the ceiling. Got the jiggy. Nice. Now we can go over here. Oh, Kazooie, I thought you could make the jump. Like that. Alright. So there's nothing more we can do here, because Gobi's Valley is not the next level. Freeze as you peek is. So in here you see a note door right there for 350. We can definitely open that up now. I think we can, oh. No, no, we gotta do this with the eggs. So let's do this. Get that away first. But I need that for later for free easy peak. Let's make our way up here. 450, can't do that yet. We see how much you unlock in a very short amount of time. You're making, we're making our way up the castle. We need to unlock this. There's a cauldron in here for sure. Another color we don't have yet. You can get on top of Grunty's hat right here. Another uh, Grunty secret you get from her. I don't think there's anything up there. I don't think you can reach up there. <coughs> Ooh, sorry. And uh, I believe that's all we can really do up here. Um, oh, that was a terrible render. Get down here. Another cauldron. I think this is the first one we can create. I think this is... Yeah, there we go. So now we have our first passageway. 
So we can get from the beginning by the picture of uh, Clanker's Cavern and uh, Treasure Trove Cove to right here. It's that very first college we found. You know what? Why not? Let's open up this note door as well. I don't think there's much we can do in here, but let's go have some fun. Let's just check it out. We're not going to do much this episode. Attack are almost done. Okay, so. Let's show you around a little bit. So we're in. There's Gobi's Valley. We're not doing that just yet, though. This is the way to Mad Monster Mansion. Let's go take a look. It is. Another level. Graveyards. We got a lot of good stuff coming. And then... You're going to see over here, this long and winding path to a little hole in the wall right over there. You see this long winding path? That's another Cheeto book right there, and you gotta turn into a pumpkin from inside of Mad Monster Mansion and bounce your way across this little path and then down the little hole and get to the next Cheeto sheet. And obviously, Mad Monster Mansion is three levels, four levels away, so they do not give Cheeto pages out very easily. So, and there's nothing else here, it's all just lava in pretty much one room. Gobi's Valley, like I said. Go back out here. Oh! Flipping everything around. Okay. You see, sometimes these things have bees on them now. So when you go and get them, now the bees chase you. What you do? Throw on the Wonder Wing. They're gone. <laughs> Save the bees. No. So, make our way to Freeze Easy Peak. I'm not sure if this thing's unlocked just yet. In fact, I don't believe it is yet because I think we need the speed shoes. Yeah, so you need the speed shoes for that. Definitely so can get this Mumbo token. Nothing there. Nothing there. <coughs> Here we are inside Freeze Easy Peak. Amazing sound. Another move. But we're gonna call it an episode here. I'm not done with the live stream, obviously, but I am done with this episode. That was a little collection. Get us through. We got the uh, the Jiggy from uh, the Grunty Switch in Bubble Goop Swamp. Uh, we got a couple doors unlocked. We found a couple of cauldrons, created our first path, and uh, now I'm inside Freeze Easy Peak. So that is where I'm going to call it for this episode. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, give me a like, subscribe, leave a comment, whatever you guys want, and uh, make sure you tune in the next episode. Thanks.